watching Let's Chat. Joining us now to chat for a few minutes about the importance of our lungs, it is the Chief of Thoracic Surgery at CHI Memorial. It's our friend, Dr. Rob Hedrick. Dr. Rob Hedrick, good morning. Good morning. Tell me about this behind us. This is the mobile lung screening machine, and this is something that you were very instrumental in bringing to our community. So What's the overview? So nobody this? likes going to the doctor, including myself. Mm -hmm. So what I want to do is try to make doctor visits easy. Um, we have a lot of health issues, particularly related to our lungs in this area. So it was an idea of getting the technology and the physician out to the, where the patients live and making our examining of the lungs and getting lung screening done the easiest way possible. And you have done this. Congratulations to you, by the way, for conceptualizing and executing this. Thank you. Um, even before the COVID pandemic started, you were talking about the importance of those of us over a certain age, 50 having regular lung examinations and screening. Why is that so important? Age 50 seems to be when our genetics start playing out. So we reach that age, and particularly if you live in our viewing audience, East Tennessee, North Georgia, North Alabama, we have such a high prevalence of lung cancer that that's when it starts peaking. The problem is you can't feel it. So what we've looked at was a lung screening scenario where the simplest test where you can look at somebody's lungs when they start turning age 50, You'll pick up lung cancer when it's easy to diagnose, easy to treat, and very in inexpensive to take care of. I know it seems like COVID has been around for years, at least mentally and emotionally, yes. but it's only been a few months. Have you seen an uptick in lung cancer since the COVID breakout, or is that too small of a time to properly quantify? No, so what we're seeing is because of people being more concerned about their health, when they feel sick getting into a hospital or a doctor's office getting imaging done, you're finding the lung cancer, which is what the lung screening program is about. People staying at home, not going to the physician's office or not aware of the problems, um, won't pick up, you won't pick up on the lung cancer. So we are seeing an increase in uh, early detection of lung cancer by people just interacting with the healthcare system. Some of the experts at the Center for Disease Control are saying that we are heading into a second nationwide round of COVID-19. Number one, as a healthcare pro, do you think that's true? And number two, what can we do to help give us the advantage? So I think psychologically we're heading into a very difficult time of the year. One, not just because of coronavirus, but also all of the other viruses that thrive in the colder weather months. So the influenza virus, the parainfluenza virus, and the common cold. And all of those affect our lungs. So Yes, so all, the lung is the big target for all of them. So I think anytime somebody starts feeling sick, you now go to even deeper, darker place because you worry about the coronavirus and all the tension that's played on it. So I think it is gonna be a difficult winter for us. Going into the mobile lung screening machine, on wheels, which I'll tell you where you can find this here over the next couple of days in just a moment. This is, as you mentioned, it's quick and it's painless. Yes. A lot of people think, I got to take a half a day off work to go do this. That is wrong. You don't. No, it, you know, it's, it's a, a three or four minute test. The process takes about 15 minutes. Mm -hmm. Um, I want to look, make, let, let people think this is a journey we're getting ready to go on. We know these winter months are going to be difficult, at right. least psychologically, if not physically, for our health. Sure. You want to check your car out before you go on a trip. Lung month is meant to be positioned this time of year, so people will go get their lungs checked. Let us help you get in the best shape you can from a pulmonary standpoint so that if you get the flu or you get the coronavirus, you're more likely to survive it and even more likely to not even get into the hospital which I think is something we all would like to avoid if at all possible. Absolutely. You can find out more about Dr. Hedrick and this incredible machine that is now on wheels and it's coming to a community near you. Pikeville, today is your day. Um, you'll find them at the Piggly Wiggly in Pikeville, central time starting at nine, lasting until two, or I should say it started at nine and will run until two o'clock this afternoon at the Piggly Wiggly in Pikeville. If you can't make Pikeville today, these screenings will be available tomorrow, Friday, at Dr. Hedrick's office. Call 495-5864-495-5864. Thank you for joining us. Make sure and join us tomorrow morning starting at 10 for more Let's Chat.